Hey there everybody, I'm Fidget, and uh, today I've got a, a little circuit I want to kind of put out here and show for you guys. Um, basically what this is, is it's a, a data flip-flop, a D-type, that, uh, and uh, usually what this is used is, uh, it's used for counting and for storing data, like uh, as in memory cells and, and the like. So, without further ado, I'll just jump right into it. Since this is obviously not working, I'm just going to go over here and show you on this ready-made one. Um, this is an identical circuit. Now driving this to make sure it, it switches or does not switch, I have two AND gates and they're being driven by two inputs. And I'll show you how that works in a second, but uh, basically what these do is these will either allow or not allow an input to both sides. Now, these two outside torches are the input from wherever whatever system is inputting into it now uh these two inner torches are the the uh overwrite protect or the uh the uh whatever what stops it from the the enable or the disable that, that stops it from from writing to the torch now right now it is set up to be write protected so it cannot be written so even if I put a torch here on the input notice this will go to this torch be inverted for this side or it'll go underneath there and be not inverted on that side so that keeps both these AND, state, AND gates in opposite states Blech. that's a tongue twister they're in opposite states which meaning one one is off one is on they cannot be the same and that just makes makes it so that this this condition here will not be violated where these two have to be opposite of each other. Um, simple enough. Now, the center one, as I said, is a right protect. This guy has changed states. I'm going to remove this. Now, when this does finally update, those two torches will go off, and uh, this torch should turn on, and it's actually not even going to switch anything. Hmm. We'll fix that. Just remove both of them. That should, what that'll end up doing is is turning this torch off or writing a zero to the output um, whenever it decides to update. I seem to have lost my connection. So before it boots me completely um, get one last overview of the whole circuit. Uh, probably going to kick me any minute now because I've lost my connection. This hasn't up. Oh, there. No, it did update. I'm sorry. Cool. So I'm safe for another few seconds. Uh, anyway, before anything happens again, uh, just kind of uh, wrap this up. This is called uh, again. This is called a D-type flip-flop, a data flip-flop. Um, some people call it a latch. Either way is acceptable, I believe. If I'm wrong, please correct me. Leave a comment. Um, I'm not completely rock solid on the terminology. I just kind of play with these in my spare time, and more or less, I end up inventing my own names, whatever sounds official, you know. So uh, anyway, if, if I'm wrong on any of this, please give me a give me a holler. Sh leave a comment, and. Uh, Go ahead and favor it while you're there. I mean, you might as well, right? So, uh, anyway, have fun with this new new uh, circuit. I have. I've done some pretty interesting stuff, and it's over there in the fog. You can't see it yet, and uh, that's because I'm saving that for another video. So stay tuned. I'll have more coming soon. Hopefully, it won't be so long as my as my last update. It's been like how many months now? But uh, hopefully I'll have this coming within a week and uh, start updating this channel like uh, like I actually know what I'm doing. Anyway, have fun with it, and uh, good luck to you. See you later.